Hi all very very happy evening to each and every one who is watching me live very very important session most of the students who purchased online course most of them are facing problem in terms of the structure in which they need to go through the course what to which topic they should start their preparation after which topic what is the next topic they need to discuss complete information regarding order to be followed while watching the Anil Nair classes video course. Entire ANC backend team is working very hard to ensure that each one of you get every possible information which will not only help you to maximize your chances of clearing the aptitude examination but also give a direction to your preparation. Before we start the class, this is the structure. Geometry and mensuration. Geometry and mensuration, this is like a number system topic, a topic which requires a lot of repeated revision repeated revision you have to learn repeatedly there are so many concepts are there so many formulas are there so many subtopics are there so many range of problems are there and uh, yeah, most of the questions either diagram will be given or diagram will not be given if it is not given you have to draw the diagram and understand what is the theory that works for that problem this is the complexity of geometry and mensuration always remember this is one topic in case if you fear please prepare for it really well and one important thing coordinate geometry trigonometry and mensuration coordinate geometry trigonometry and mensuration these only go through it after the geometry it is over only after the geometry the concepts are covered get into this topic because these are all the derivatives of that geometry now what is the study plan for geometry study plan if you see that is the reason i said this is a very very lengthy topic totally if you see how many sets are there if you see total 16 sets are there 16 buckets are there probably one topic of aptitude which takes huge number of theorems and proofs so first you will study lines angles transversal basic proportionality theorem problem stop it here then you will study a three-sided closed figure triangle related problems property of a triangle area of a triangle multiple ways of solving area related problems interior angle related problems exterior angle related problems then you will study right angle related problems what are the behavior of the sides Pythagoras theorem related problems how if three sides are given how to determine whether it is an acute angle obtuse angle related problems then some important Theorems related to sine rule, cosine rule, equilateral triangle, usage of sine rule, usage of cosine rule in an equilateral triangle based problems, isosceles triangle based problems. Equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, right angled triangle are extremely important from an examination perspective. Then you will go through geometric centers, ortho center, circum center, in center, centroid. What is the point of intersection of altitude, properties related to geometric centers, problems related to geometric centers, similarity of right angle triangles, how sh you should not apply any similarity, then congruency of triangle related problems, then mass point geometry, another very very small concept but very very important concept, set number 6, when you are going through geometric centers, don't go through anything else, very carefully study plan I discussed. Then polygon related problems, regular polygon related problems, octagon related problems and hexagon related problems. Some more important concept of sum of interior angles and sum of exterior angle related problems. Set number 7. Total set number 7 covers entire concepts related to triangles, circles and all the properties related to circle. At least 8 to 10 hours you require only for this topic. Then quadrilateral related problems, then parallelogram related problems. Opposite sides are parallel and equal, another derivative of quadrilateral. Complete this, some concepts can be used in parallelogram. Septum, set it on. rhombus related problems, rectangle related problems, square related problems. Problems. 
trapezium related problems isosceles trapezium related problems another cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles in a quadrilateral is 180 degrees some important ptolemy's theorem related to cyclic quadrilateral then comes the now we have discussed it till geometry 2d figures then 3d figures cube related problems cuboid related problem finish it one go cylinder related problems cone related problems sphere related problems prism related problems pyramid related problems miscellaneous any other good questions related to 3d figures coordinate geometry basics intermediate advanced level that is the reason i kept 15 and 16 so that whatever you learnt will go ahead for it this is one topic maximum 72 hours are required and these one topic which you need to learn a lot maximum 72 hours are required very very important topic vast topic because the syllabus is vast i'm going to spend a lot of extra time with students in terms of taking classes from tomorrow after the geometry mensuration trigonometry and coordinate geometry it is done attempt a topic test depending upon sets attempt a sectional test then attempt the mock act papers these more or less self which is these are the three months package these are the six months package these you can get connected mother teresa said so beautifully if you do not know how to take care of the child give it to me i will take care of the child i want to rephrase it for you if you do not know how to plan your studies watch this video and prepare a plan and always remember this thumb rule go through the fundamentals first practice 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 always try to solve tougher problems using the fundamentals and most importantly get your examination syllabus plan and divide it into sets and plan it coverly attempt the test topic test then sectional test then mock test paper after watching the videos of course you can always attempt a few mock papers to understand your performance which we call it as a diagnostic test i hope this video is of tremendous use to you